Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And today we're talking about something different. I barely come on here to talk about like my relationship because I'm like, er, like I'm in still in the relationship season. But I feel like I'm going on three years with my boo thing. And I'm willing to share three things that I wish I would have known before hopping into a relationship. Especially being a believer within a relationship. So here i want to make sure to speak the truth so if you feel like it's a little bit too much for you maybe you shouldn't watch this video but i like to be truthful and i'm learning every day to like live out my truth as far as like what i go through and owning it because it can actually like save someone and prepare someone because i feel like we have a lot of sugar-coated stuff on youtube so the very first thing um, I have my phone here because I wrote everything down is like merging how hard it is sometimes to merge two uh, worlds just because like your significant other is going through a lot of stuff where they were raised a certain type of way maybe in your past relationship like he was okay with you know saying certain things or just operating a certain way and like merging those things together sometimes and cause a little bit of like a clash so I had to make sure that I set out like or I express myself like clearly when something didn't work like for example Jose um, not intentionally but he uses a lot of like um, what is it oh my god terms of endear of endearment when we first got into the relationship and I was like oh nah like we're not no <laughs> like even though you don't mean anything by it to the other person I can lead them on and like you're an attractive guy like people can definitely run away with this but like merging two worlds believer non-believer it's sometimes really hard so you kind of like have to discuss that so the person can adjust if they're willing to to the things that you don't like because it's just not gonna work so that's the very first thing the second thing that I personally um, went through is like checking my own insecurities um, I feel like we all have insecurities sometimes and one of the things that really one of the things that really bother me or about just guys in general it's like you know if they look at a certain female and you're literally sitting in front of them it happened to me in past relationships and I was like oh nah so even if I see you like look away I'm gonna be like oh my gosh like no what are you doing and I had to learn how to check my own insecurities like okay am I really bugging out right now is it me or is it like something that we should discuss because I see that it can lead our relationship in a different on a different path or whatever um, so I think that a lot of the time um, it was me and my own insecurities and I had to learn and pray like for certain things for me to be secure within my relationship also a lot of people and it's so crazy because I have a friend close friend which is my boyfriend's best friend named Hugh and he keeps it real 100% and one of the things that he said is sometimes like you are so conditional like with your love so if you say like oh my gosh my relationship is going good my boyfriend is doing so much for me I love you because of that the moment that he starts to switch it's like a temperature change like I can't stand you so like don't just say I love you because you're doing something great because how do they like when you it's already set in your mind that once they act out about something like you may not feel the same way so one thing is I need to definitely definitely check my insecurities um, and be secure in who I am in the relationship be secure in who I'm with um, and yeah so the very last thing was I'm learning to pray more than I talk like then talk more because a lot of things like if your boyfriend has a habit for instance that you don't like and you're like, yo, you really need to get this together. I can't stand when you do this. I can't stand when you joke around this way. I, I feel like you have this habit of, like, talking does nothing. It's a waste of time. Like, literally. Um, and I'm learning that, and it, it sounds very cliche, but I'm learning that once I'm, like, writing down something and I write down, um, you know, an issue that's going on within my relationship, then it's kind of like, okay, God, I'm going to circle this issue in prayer. I'm going to circle this issue in prayer. Um, and that does more than me talking and nagging because it creates a lot of tension within your relationship. Like, it was a lot of things that I felt like I could have saved my breath, my words, <laughs> just my stress. You know, um, instead of just like talking about it, like I can pray about it and God turned it around. And I look up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember when I was complaining about like 
certain habits that he has and I'm looking up and I'm like oh god wow like I'm now looking at the situation that I once prayed for so don't waste your time like I know that we see a lot of that stuff like on Ratchet TV talking and yelling and cursing and this and that but especially being believer like if he has the holy spirit within him you can pray to god in holy spirit the holy spirit is the one that's going to mold him god is the one that is in control and like i'm still learning that even now like i'm saying that now and i watch this video and i'm going through a situation i'm like yo you need to handle this you need to do this you need to handle this like trust me like it, it switches on and off but like i'm telling you like the most strongest thing that i'm building a habit around is praying um because i know especially in a marriage as believers you have to be so anchored you have to be so prayed up and like i heard that majority of your marriage like you're on your knees praying for your relationship praying for your husband praying for your kids like everything is dealt with do prayer so I'm learning to like talk less like say less but anyways those are my three things I hope that you guys um took away something and I hope that you resonated with the points that I shared um as we go into a new season because we are starting premarital hey 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 <laughs> we're starting premarital um I believe in April I think um but we have a meeting um with a pastor in our church next month and we are starting premarital courses so it's going to be so exciting but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys